from New York City, it's the Wendy Williams Show. to be rescued from the weekend. <laughs> Let's get started, it's time for I do drive-bys, thank you, sir. <laughs> I enjoy a drive-by, a new life. Um, so look, uh, did you watch, clap if you did, Atlanta last night? I'm suspicious. <laughs> because I think more people watch than actually clap. It's okay, co-host. Look, when you come here, let your freak flag fly. Yeah. Okay. Well, I watched, and I had no idea that I popped up in a particular segment. Oh. Well, but, but because this happened so long ago, this happened months ago. Right. Nene calls me, she's with the producer, she's like, Wendy, just, <laughs> just, you know, we're gonna send you the stuff through your phone, you sign it with your finger and you bring it back, you know, bring it back around and press send. And I was like, well, what am I doing? She said, just talk me down. I said, from what? She said, just follow the conversation. I'm like, okay. And it was a beautiful day when she called. I wasn't doing anything, it wasn't a work day. She called like on a weekend, you know what I'm saying? So I was giving her advice on how to deal with Kenya because Nene has a hard time dealing with people who aren't as authentic as her. And I like Kenya the way I like Nene. But like, I, like, I like those girls. And you're not gonna get me to choose. And you know what I'm saying? But Nene is my ace, and then after that, everyone else falls in line. Right. Uh, if they care. Right. <laughs> if they don't care, then bye, girl, bye. <laughs> but anyway, just saying. So I'm watching the episode, and take a look. Wendy's a friend of mine. We've known each other 13 years now. She has a heart that people don't know about. And I have a heart that I'm sure that people can't see. And she sees it, she gets it. I'm um, here's the problem, Kenya. Okay, I'm trying to be kind to her. I mean, you will be proud of me, okay? I've said hello to her, I've emailed her, I've texted her, and she treats me like Nene, you mm -hmm. have proven to be a really good friend mm -hmm. to me. Yeah, thank you. I like Kenya, by the way, Nene. I, mean, I don't care I if you like her. her. I've been kind to her. Let her bury herself. Because ultimately speaking, true colors do show. Cindy and I have gotten in a better place. Mm -hmm. And Portia, she'll probably be coming with her baby. Okay, let's talk. Because now Portia's not with her man. I think they're working through their issues. Oh! Did I spill some tea? So, Nene, hold your wig and your beautiful money well spent face. <laughs> Nothing's been done to my face, bitch. I know you wish. You're only gonna give the girls your best side. 
Okay. Which would be your spread hips and your ass to kiss. <laughs> <laughs> My thing is, I don't want to be involved, but she called me and I just, we have a different kind of relationship. Like, okay, I had a really hectic weekend, in a good way. <laughs> I um, dined with several people that you all know, but only two of them will I talk about. <laughs> and that would be Nene and Marlo. <laughs> Take a look. So the girls call me and they're like, we're in New York and we're gonna be on Watch What Happens Live and then Nene does Kelly and Ryan later on in the week and uh, on Thursday, I think, she's on Kelly and Ryan. So they're in town all week, but I'm busy. Like I, I work, around, like I got stuff to do, but yesterday it was good. So they're like, meet us at Bergdorf. So Nene sent her car, cause you know, that, that's <laughs> Nene. Nene sent a car, the car picked me up, dropped me off at Bergdorf, the girls were waiting. Okay, this is um, like a glamour suite that they have at Bergdorf. I know you see a lot of racks, but trust me when I tell you, there's so much luxury around there, you can probably smell it through the TV. <laughs> okay, and I'm on the phone with my sister, cause it, it, it's th those girls who wanna take social media all the damn time. Like, I'm, I'm done with it for one month. I'm, that's, I'm adding on to my Lent. Salami, beef, and social media, done, done, done. Done. So I didn't put this on Instagram because it got vetoed by people upstairs who you know, monitor my social media. They didn't think I looked proper in it. I'm like, what are you talking about? Do you understand what is going on here? I text Norman, Norman had one word. What is it, Norman? Iconic. <laughs> But, but people say you say stuff like that because you stand there and you're scared to be fired. And I'm like, no. Because no. my you, mom won't and be it's fired. and it's Nene and it's Marlo and it's iconic. And we're in the Bergdorf. Do you yes. understand? We told the, the sales girls, all right, we each had a sales girl. We're like, we gave them each of all of our sizes. They're back there fetching stuff. Right. Marlo throws on, look, it was a pare down, no makeup day. You know, like, come on girls, let's just go and have a good time. It was no paparazzi, Liberace, there was nothing going on. <laughs> like literally, I send this to my Instagram department. They send it up through the 20 people. Suzanne, you, are you one of those nope, people? I, I'm, I'm proud you, to say I was not one of those people. Are, you're, not, you're not part of the board no, no, of no, judgment? I, no, uh, well, I'm not that, that, that. <laughs> part of board of judgment. <laughs> not that department, no. Okay. Oh, and that is a great picture. Well, they judged it all the way down. Oh. Bernie called me, all right, because oh, no. he's the final one, because everyone's scared to say something to me, right? <laughs> so Burns calls and says, we're not doing the picture. I'm like, why? I slammed the phone down on him. I'm like, done. You know, I sent it to my mother, my sister, like the most critical people in my life. This is after Nortman got it. I sent it to Boof, Bo Boof. I sent it to Youf. I, you know. Boof is like, wow, what a picture. <laughs> What'd you all get? So I ended up buying a negligee. Oh. Oh, you know, <laughs> yeah, nude color with the marabou feathers. <laughs> Nene bought a handful of gowns, you know, $2,000 a piece. Wow. Marlo charged a whole bunch of stuff. But let me tell you something about these girls. We not just shopped, we went upstairs and we had lunch the whole bit. Like it was the three of us take over. And can I tell you something about security? They treated us like the hood that they treat us. Oh. Yep. And that's all I'm gonna say. You can earn what you want, you can do what you want. But when you are what you are, you better not be surprised at how people treat you. Nortman. Yeah. N Nortman. Oh, I mean. We were low. <gasps> Unbelievable. And, and not with a lit credit card followed. Yeah. Followed like we might have to do something. Yeah. <laughs> so when this place tells me I can't post that picture, I'm like, you know what? I'm posting it on Hot Topics then and I'm gonna tell you exactly what it is. Yeah.
And now I'm done. Until, to, cause today's the second? Yes, uh-huh, as of today. Until April 2nd. Yeah. There will be no after show. There will be no pictures of food, no pictures of my cats, no pictures of my shoulder blades. No, 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 no. I'm on protest from this place. Those people. Not you, Suzanne. Okay. But you know, <laughs> the, the you. 20 people who judge my Instagram and oh. try to, you know, block. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Norntman? Uh-huh. Do you understand? I 100% understand. Mm-hmm. I know what you're talking about. Mm-hmm. It was iconic. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So as I'm saying. Suzanne's over there breathing hard because right after the show, I go home. Uh-huh. And I'm She's sweating. She's gonna be stuck here all day. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. In the meetings. In the meetings, uh-huh, uh-huh. uh-huh. being stared at. <laughs> That's okay, Suzanne. There's nothing you can say to me. Oh, by the way, mm-hmm. Suzanne, yeah. you know who I talked to over the weekend? Who? Susan. Oh, from, from Duff? Duff's wife, Susan, oh and God. I had a- what's, what's happening? Very lengthy conversation. What's the update? The update is that she, we stayed on the phone for an hour. Okay. Duff from Guns N' Roses. Oh. Like, yeah. look. We going? Over there. Oh, are we going? Yeah, we're going, right? We're better than going. Okay, I want backstage. Yo, she understands. Look, look over here, um, Rambo. She understands every word. Mm-hmm. She understands our show. She's such a lovely woman. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Then I had lunch with another woman over the weekend that I can't talk to you about, but you know who she is, so I can't talk, because the agreement was we're not wearing makeup, we're gonna wear sweatpants. And, you know, I went over to her apartment, which, by the way, if you think my office is full of the hoarder's glittery paradise, <laughs> this woman has everything from original Picassos. She pulled out a share dress. Uh-uh. An original, uh huh, uh huh, unzipped it. Uh uh-huh. yeah, no, 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 she's. Like, you like, smell, like Bob Mackie style? You smell money on the block. Oh. <laughs> Bob Mackie, yeah, Bob Mackie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was Bob Mackie share. Oh. Look, look, right? And she had the Fabergé eggs and all that like gaudy stuff. Like if you're, it, like I'm a Liberace. If you're a Liberace, then you, excuse me, then you understand what I'm saying. I like gaud, so I had lunch with her. <laughs> um, let me see, I had lunch with an infamous blogger king, oh, dinner, uh-huh. married kids, nothing going on. Uh-huh. <laughs> Wanted to get together, came over to my house, didn't make reservations. We go to the restaurant, they're like an hour and a half wait. I'm like, no, you won't pull that. Do you know who we are? No, the, no, the hell you won't. <laughs> Let's get right back in that car and go back to my apartment and I'll order a little something. Like, no, you won't do that. All right, so that's um, two things. Um, <laughs> Um, Nene and Marlo and a bunch of family conversation with the family in Miami. My aunt May turned 96 Aww. this weekend. Yeah. It was a big deal. And you know you're old when you spell May, M-A-E. Okay? That, you know that's old. Happy birthday, Aunt May. I'm sorry I couldn't be there, but I have stuff to take care of. And so, um, and then this morning I woke up and I called Flava Flav. Well, only because he's been kicked out of Public Enemy. And I'm like, where is Public Enemy without Flava Flav? Where is Public Enemy without Chuck D? The group got put together in Long Island back in 1985. Flav is now 60 years old with eight kids and four babies' moms. Just a little tidbit. (laughs) (laughs) Well, Chuck D is now, now mind you, they're the only two founding members. Everybody else is a giddy up, okay? There's only, it's only Flav and Chuck and then everyone else, right? So Chuck D is furious with Flav um, because Chuck and Public Enemy agreed to do a performance for Bernie Sanders' rally last night on TV. Well, I'm busy with Nene and them. So I I didn't didn't see this, but I saw it this morning when I woke up, you know, and I'm looking at it on the TV, and I'm like, 
All right, well, Flav's number is in my phone, so maybe I can get an actual statement. But his number I see starts with the LA number situation. Uh -huh. I'm like, okay, so it's 6 a.m. here in New York. Yeah, that means right. it's three there, but I violate, I don't care. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, I call you when I need to talk to you. If you answer, you answer. If you don't, slam the phone on the ground. Never talk to me again, I don't care. Look, so Flav, Flav sent a cease and desist letter. And then, yeah, like, no, I'm not down with um, uh, Bernie, you know? And then, uh-huh? I didn't say anything. Okay. <laughs> no. Flav is laughing back there. No. Flav is not down with Bernie. Uh -huh. Chuck is down with Bernie. Chuck D owns all the music. He owns the, the, um, the silhouette of the group. You know, the Fight the Power silhouette. He owns everything about the group. Smart, by the way. You know, he, he caught everyone where they were dumb. Okay. Now look at here. Chuck performed under the new group name. They have a new group name. It's called Public Enemy Radio. So Chuck released a statement saying about Flav, we thank him for his years of service and wish him well. <laughs> like he's a rented, like, like he's a, 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 a Toyota or something. <laughs> like, like. Uh, uh, Years of service and wish him well. Chuck, there is no public enemy without Flav, but Flav, there is no public enemy without Chuck. And you know what? Bernie was wrong because you let Bernie use Flav's clock. That's not your clock. That's Flav's clock election of the situation. Bernie used the clock to tease the public enemy is gonna perform. Well, you know, you know, uh, you understand? And so Flav was like, well, first of all, I'm not down with Bernie. Second of all, I'm not down with the stealation of my time situation. <laughs> right. <laughs> Third of all, I'm not down. So Chuck said, well, then you get out. But Chuck owns the group. So Fl Flav is, ho is Flav homeless? <laughs> Wait, no, hold on. He just had a baby only three months ago. Six months. Six months like ago. Like a six month old baby. A six month old baby. And he's 60. At 60. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Meantime, I did go grocery shopping over the weekend and I bought my, nope, I bought my canvases. Okay. Uh, yep, yep, I know what to do. New York, do you know what to do? Yeah. Brendan sent me a weird text of a plastic bag saying, rest in peace. <laughs> Brendan, your wife doesn't grocery shop, so you better exactly. well, get up on safety. it. Uh -huh. Yeah, you're not gonna throw those away, are you? Uh, you're gonna just... Uh, okay, can I tell you something secretly? What? Okay, I went to the grocery store up the street that starts with a G, R, uh -huh. ends with an S, uh -huh. and they have a yellow bag, mm -hmm. and I had one canvas bag, because I was only buying a few things, but they still had the plastic bags. What? Oh, you best, you best to believe. She packed up those plastic bags for me. When she turned her back to me, I took a whole grant. I get it though. I get it, I get it. Like when we were having lunch and dinner, like the whole entire weekend, no place that I went. I told you, I left the house quite a few times to eat with people and stuff. I've got a life. But there were no straws anywhere. And I'm like, but how do you drink a smoothie? Cause smoothies and milkshakes, they're a rarity. We don't all drink them all the time, but you know, they're so cold. You don't want to drink them out of a paper. Okay, Oprah fell. Now let me, let me tell you something right now. Let me tell you something right now. My show's looking at me like I look crazy in the glamour suite. In the meantime, she's up on stage falling for no reason. I didn't see a cinder block. She's doing a boss down lecture, telling everybody about balance or whatever. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And then she fell. But you wanna question me over the iconic picture of us three girls in the glamour suite? At Bergdorf's. How dare you? <laughs> Take a look. And balance doesn't mean all things are equal or at peace at all times. Oh.
You know what? I liked it so much. And I'm, yup, go. Do it again, do it again. Uh-huh. Now, now look at here. Oprah is icing her entire body right now, telling you all to get on Weight Watchers. Get out of here. Are you serious? Oprah, you are now added to my fall of shame. That's it. <laughs> Can't let it go by without pulling in on. Right. Right next to oh, Norman. Right next to me. Right next uh -huh. to Norman. First there, thing I noticed. There she is. Everything. Head <laughs> to toe. Yes. Uh huh. Uh huh. Who are you? Where are you from? I'm from DC. You are from yeah. DC? Yeah. Hi. What do you do? I'm an entrepreneur. You're an entrepreneur? Yeah. Isn't everyone? <laughs> Okay, Norman, take her mic back. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. What does that mean? What do you do? Don't be shy. Don't be shy. You're in the front row with a poof. <laughs> I'm about to ask you to stand up. Can you stand up? No. Don't be shy. Stand up. Stand up. Okay, there, there you go. There you go. She's real shy? Yes, she is. Well, when you all come to the front uh, uh, row, th this is not the time for that. Then you should have sat way back. No, her name is not Baby Girl. Who is that, your big mouth mother? <laughs> hey, Mom. Okay. <laughs> Hi, Mom. <laughs> Hi, Mom. <laughs> but the thing about the front row, and the tickets are free, you go to wendyshow.com, but if you're gonna come here, and you're gonna show out in a, as far as I'm concerned, a Liberace 10 outfit, 10, love it all, then you can't be shy. You come, you show up and show out. We got more great show for you, everybody. Up next, the inside scoop on Jeff Lewis and his custody battle. So grab a snack and come on back. for the inside scoop and here with the dish um, is the host of The Morning Beat on Channel Q. That's right. AJ Gibson. Hello. I'm trying to uh, follow in your footsteps. AJ, doing radio. AJ, I love my people. By the way, he's not standing, but he's about six feet three. I am, six foot five. Five. There you go, there you go. Okay. And a half. <laughs> All right, I love Jeff Lewis. I need you to explain. I am disgusted. Yeah, so uh, Jeff Lewis is at war with his ex right now. So you know Jeff Lewis and Gage Edward, they've uh, been together for 10 years. They were on Flipping Out on Bravo for many years. That show ran for 11 seasons. While well, they're going through a bitter breakup right now. With a baby. With a baby. Monroe. A custody battle right now. Their daughter Monroe, she's adorable. Uh, she's three years old. Mm -hmm. So here's the issue. Uh, Gage filed a lawsuit against Jeff Lewis. Jeff has a show on Sirius XM Radio, and he's been talking about this on the Horribly. Show, horribly talking about it. Like, I don't like all that information. He shares everything. Everything. It, he literally, after their breakup, went on a date with a, uh, was it a chiropractor last year and was talking about how bad the date was on the show right. and the guy broke up with him. So he literally talks about everybody. Um, and talked about Monroe and the people at her school. Yes. And how she- At the Montessori. And, and they she kicked was, her yes. out. So, well now he says that Gage Edward is fighting for 50% custody of their daughter Monroe. Currently, it's a 70-30 split in favor of Jeff. Uh, he's also saying um, he wants to include his name Edward as her new last name. And Jeff is saying this is ridiculous. Uh, she's three years old, she just learned her full name. And now you want to add this. And on top of it, here's the kicker, Wendy. Edward isn't even Gage's last name. It's his middle name. It's his stage name. He got famous on TV, sort of, and took it as his last AJ, name. AJ, get out. So now he wants to <laughs> change this poor girl's last name to Edward, which is kind of ridiculous. Um, yeah, also the school- This whole show is ridiculous. You've talked about the school, the school situation. Yes. Yeah, so she was expelled from her school. Uh-huh, at three. Yeah. 
Yeah, so Gage is really upset that Jeff talks about him so much on the radio show every day. Um, he's, he's just pissed. He's pissed he's putting their, their, their information out there, their business. What is Jeff saying? Well, Jeff says that he thinks it's ridiculous. He thinks that, uh, that Gage is only upset and he's only trying to get 50% custody as opposed to the 30%, which he says, by the way, Gage doesn't even use. He barely sees his daughter. He's saying he's only doing it because he wants more money. And if he gets the percentage of custody up, he gets a higher percentage of money as well. Because oh. he's not on the reality show anymore and he's not collecting that paycheck. Mm. Which he was on for seven seasons, by the way, as a cast member and made a lot of money off of. So yeah. So Gage did send a cease and desist letter to Jeff asking him to stop. <laughs> he says he needs to stop uh, talking about him uh, in negative ways, using derogatory comments and slandering him. Um, it's also the first time Jeff has not gotten in trouble for his rants. As you know, the, the school, the Montessori. So apparently now, the headmistress of the school has come out supporting Gage Edward in this case, and Jeff's talking about that on the radio. He's upset that the school's backing up because apparently he's a good he's a good dad, I guess. I don't know. You said he only sees him sometimes. Well, okay, but here's the thing. So if you go on Gage's Instagram, every other photo is with their daughter Monroe. Jeff's saying, look, if you don't want her being talked about and you don't want her out in the public view, Jeff's really not putting much about her on his Instagram. Gage is doing it. And he's yeah, but saying, just he, talking about her on the show. I know, but he's saying, stop, stop trying to use her for clout and for fame by putting her all over your Instagram account if you're upset about me talking to her on the radio. I'm confused. It's, it's, a, it's, it's a lot. It's a lot. So uh, Jeff went on to say, and we actually have a quote from Jeff regarding Do you know this. him? Do I know him? I yeah. do not. And I also couldn't really get into the show. He's not my, listen. No, he is Listen, your... no, in the- if you're, <laughs> listen, if you're here- Listen, Wendy, I'm gonna say this. Believe me, you. Listen, Jeff Wendy. Jeff Lewis is a whole ball of fun. I, no, I'm, okay. Are you, you, are you friends with him? I like Jeff a lot. Okay. I feel bad about talking about him. That's why I, I have feel, you here to I talk. I feel bad about him because, <laughs> listen. Listen, let me, I'll give you a hair flip. In the community, there, there, are different, there are different types of gays. Jeff, I feel like, I don't know that we would, I don't know that we would mesh very well. I don't know, he's a little sassy for me. I'm kind of sassy, but here's what, he, he does admit that he's gotten into trouble before um, for speaking so publicly about things. He refers to that version of himself that he goes on, he talks about in therapy as Jeffrey. Jeffrey says like bad is the, Right. Yes. Okay. Jeff is like trying to move forward and be better. I feel uncomfortable. Can we move forward to another story? Can I give you, can I give you this quote? Okay, go I ahead. I have a quote. It's a really important quote, I think, right? Okay, go ahead. So he says that Gage accused me about talking about this for attention. When you take pictures of yourself in front of a mirror, you take pictures of yourself in an empty plate at a restaurant that says single dad dinner. That seems like wanting attention. That's all I'm going to say until the next cease and desist letter comes. So he's not backing down. Okay. Yeah. What's the next story? Okay. Can so we talk about something else? We're talking about bad baby? Yeah. Okay, okay. No, catch me outside, girl. Yes, Danielle yes. She's 16 years old. Mm -hmm. She's in a feud right now with Sky Jackson, who is 17 years old. She's a Disney actress. Okay, so apparently this is all over a guy. 16 years old, 17 years old, they're going after it. Because of NBA Youngboy. NBA, by the Does way. Does he play the NBA? No, he does not play for the NBA. Okay. It stands for Never Broke Again. He's 20 okay. years old, he's a rapper. Okay. Um, apparently, Sky posted on uh, social media Somebody hooked me up with this dude. Allegedly, Bad Baby had dated him in the past. Okay. And she's now furious. She says that Sky goes after every guy she goes after. She AJ? Dated. She calls her a Disney thought. <laughs> she actually threatened to kill her. Let's take a look. Don't go post about me on your fake page, bitch. If you got something to say about me, post it on your page. Show me your You don't even know if I'm talking to dude or not. You just seen us on Shade Room, so now you want to go run and go like his bitches, bitch. I'll kill you. I'll really kill you. So, yeah, so they're fighting over a guy who buys- What are we talking about? Listen, We're grown no, Wendy, people. You I got know, salt Wendy. and pepper hair. Wendy, I'm 55. Listen, Wendy, this is- I got Wendy. other stuff to do. Wendy, what are we talking what, about here now? Because she has 17 and a half million followers. Okay. Uh, and she's, she's, people know her. She has, she has a following. Also, just for reference, Not me. this I'm, guy, I'm by the month. time he was 18, had four children of three different women. So these young girls are fighting over him. Well, he's an NBA then. Yeah, I don't really understand why. Uh, yeah. So, Sky, it gets, no, it gets juicier, Wendy. Sky has actually filed a restraining order. Do you understand because, how ridiculous you sound? No, but wait, okay, Wendy, okay. Talking. Here's why I want to talk about this. So these girls, their moms actually started getting into it on social you media. You are a very sophisticated man with I, beautiful tortoise shell glasses and salted pepper no, hair. No, Wendy, there's not even a lens in them. I have, I have, like. Ah, I can't. I have, okay. 
I have 2020 vision. But these girls' moms. You're these using girls, those for a fit. Oh, of course, look like you. I got them in a gifting suite, whatever. So these girls' moms are fighting on social media. My mom is actually I here somewhere. Read. My mom is in the studio today, Wendy, for the first time. She's Your mother? She came to see you. Hi. And, uh, and I will Gibson, tell you. you. Come over here right now, please. Mom, get over here. Come get on. over here. Just mom, come, come here right Gibson. now. So, Usher her over here. Kathy, her name's Kathy. Kathy, Kathy. Yeah. Come I over here, Kathy. You. Let me tell you something about your son. Your Get son has here. been a friend of this show for many, many Get years. Get over here. He makes me laugh. Oh. He makes me cry. <laughs> oh my God. And he's a mess. Oh. He goes to me too. <laughs> Do you understand what he's talking Turn about? Off. We're talking about catch me yes. outside. I know, I've got I know. no more time Listen, for this. Thank you for being has, AJ. My mom Kathy. had breast cancer this year also, so let's just go. Yeah. Oh. yeah, yeah. Mm. AJ's book, Flipping the Script, on Amazon. Yes. Trendy at Wendy is next. on purchasing something like this. I'm gonna this. tell you why you should get it, okay. Oh no, you. I'm getting it okay. all right. It's gonna be free here at Trendy at Wendy. I know, that's right. Hi everybody, <laughs> welcome back. Um, and welcome our friend Moku Zuvo. Hello. And let me tell you something. Yeah. Moku, mm -hmm. let's get right to let's it. Let's get right into it. I though. have been dying Okay. I got you. this. So everything we have here is from our friends over at Brew La La. I like this one. This right one is great. Me. It's at Marble. So it's the Jackson C table with the charging station. Oh, uh, so it's available in two styles. And you come slide in multiple it colors. under your bed That's and it. pull it up. Yeah, it looks like a regular table. A table. But it has two USB ports, two outlets. A magazine a rack. A magazine rack. So that's right. You pull it up to your sofa. You put your items on here, your media center. You have no idea. Mm -hmm. It's really good. You have good. no idea. Very durable. If you have friends coming over, have them charge their devices here. If you oh, need no, no, no. This yeah. is at the bed. This so. is at the bed? Well, this is great because then you won't be using your phone, right? Mm -hmm. so, okay, guys, so it normally Neither retails for $2.99, but Wendy Watches, you're not paying that. 73% off this table is $79.99. <laughs> it's so good. Let's yeah. come on over here. This is so good. Do you know which color you're gonna get? That one. That one, okay, done. Okay, this All is right. our intern. Her name is Nicole. Are you All having right. a nice internship? Absolutely, I feel like uh, I'm oh, a lot. Pom-poms. Mm -hmm. Pom-poms, guys. Come on. This wait, comes to us from this? Chic Home Hood. It's Nuggle Blanket. That's right, so it has the pom-poms. I want It has one. the decorative tables. Look at all these yep. gorgeous colors. The same Eight one that Nicole prints has. you can choose from. Mm. So nice and cozy. So on the inside, it's lined with Sherpa. I don't need Then eight. you get the trim right here mm. as well. How nice is that? Then it has the hood. Isn't that great? <laughs> right? That's such a good deal. If you're someone who always gets cold, I love this for you, or even wearing it at home at the office, it's perfect. Are you loving it? How much is this? Are. All right, well, normally retails for $79.99, but Wendy watches are getting it for 68% off. It's $24.99. That's it. I know. Okay. You know which color you're gonna get? Yeah. All right. Let's move on over to the bags. You can just drop it on your okay. table. That's all right. Okay. This is our home, you know, we're okay. organizing. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about bags. This mm. is from Jiju Capri. This I is like the Ante Leather Hobo bag. Isn't it cute? So it oh. has that detachable strap on the inside, so you can rock it two different ways. Is Nicole but still standing there Nicole with the <laughs> She's keeping nice and cool over there. All right, cool. So, all right, so on the inside, you, it has that detachable strap, large yeah. enough to store all your essentials. Made in Italy with the super soft, buttery this is leather. It's really soft. It's so good. I would squish it down, but there's stuff in it with there's bags. Stuff, yeah, that's where we put all our items in there. So this is great. No. If you're going to the office, put your items in there. If you're going to church, going to brunch. I could show you how soft it is. Yeah. What, a paint can? A paint <laughs> We're getting busy. What the whole thing? We got a lot to do, guys. But, but look, 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 yeah. look. This, this Squish is it up, what, right? th no, this is what sells mm -hmm. it, you all. Not a paint can yeah. and some yeah. plastic. Really yeah. good. So this normally retails for two forty nine. dollars But when you watch you're not paying that. 63% off this leather bag is $89.99. So good. I know, I love it too. Graduation is coming up, and so this is a really good thing. Mother's Day is also happening, That's and so by the true. way, um, wait, hold on. Great bag to go into the workplace. While Wendy puts that down, let me tell you this. 
Our table is gonna be stacked, y'all. All right, so this is from Sfera Milano. It's the 14K. I Easy love an evil eye. evil eye necklace, don't you? Well, this is how you're gonna get people's attention. It's gonna grab your attention. Uh -huh. That synthetic cubic zirconia, right? That faceted cubic zirconia with that synthetic turquoise stone looks absolutely incredible. Wear it as is. Mm -hmm. You see how Wendy has it sort of stacked right there? You can layer it as well, but it looks What great. I like about the um, yellow or the, this rose gold mm -hmm. is it matches my skin. Oh, yeah. So it just it looks pops. like it's floating in the middle of my decolletage. Yeah. Isn't that gorgeous? Here's the thing, you guys. Amazing. It has that spring ring extender, so I you can it. have it higher or lower. Now, this normally retails for $129, this gorgeous piece of jewelry, but you're not paying that, Wendy Watches. It's 72% off. It's $35.99. Did you just grab that one? Yeah. Okay, fair enough. So it's available in five styles, by the way. All right, let's move on to our next item. Okay. Oh, so good. You're grabbing a couple? All right, well, let's talk about skincare. This is the Manuka Doctor Flawless Canvas Skin Perfecting Set. So it's a three-piece set. We're gonna upgrade our current skincare routine with this entire set. What we wrinkle have here. Wrinkle prone. This is the wrinkle filler. Here we go. And then we get a primer, and Fill then you in. get a replenishing oil. So oh, guys, isn't that great? It has a little this? bit of color, but just rub it in. No, this is white girl color. This is the wrinkle filler, but no, look, it's gonna absolve. You just gotta rub it in a little bit more. See, there we go. Got a little, so it's an entire three piece set. There we go, see, it rubbed right into my skin. It's an entire three piece set. I gotta piece read set. the directions. Yeah. I'll take it all home, <laughs> but I gotta read the directions. Whether you may wear makeup or not, this is great, you guys. So it has uh, potent ingredients like Manuka honey, it has bee venom, it also has omega rich oils. This normally retails for $117.85, but it is 74% off. It's $29.99, about 10 bucks oh. per product. <laughs> Ooh, our table is stacked, you guys, okay, all right. <laughs> Wendy is grabbing everything and you shoot too as well. Look at how good that is. Okay, Wendy, let's talk about our last item. I know uh -oh. you love skincare. Yes. So this is the LaCour Paris Wrinkle Neck Device. So you just turn it on. It has two magnetic settings, the two heat settings. So you can just rub it across your neck and your shoulders, Ooh, and absorbing all those wrinkles. Exactly. Now these guys, these always sell out so fast because they work. So today is the day to grab yours. No, I use these. Yeah, and they're good. And you yeah. use, do you use them with your oils and your creams and your I serums? I use them with the oils and creams and I have one in every room in my house, yeah. honestly. That, like, because you don't need a cord with it. All you have to do is have a charge. Mm -hmm. So you That's just it. bring it up on the bed. You turn on good old Sex in the City. <laughs> a few minutes a day. All right. So I know you're thinking, what is the price point? It normally retails for a lot. two thousand dollars. That's a lot. Mm -hmm. But Wendy watches are not paying that. It is ninety three percent off this device right here. That's gonna sell out fast. Is one twenty nine ninety nine. <laughs> So you yeah. are the best. Thank you. Ooh, la, la. Thank you for these amazing deals. Go to wendyshow.com before they sell out. This is the good stuff, everybody. <laughs> Ask Wendy is next. <laughs> I'm multitasking. <laughs> I'm euthanizing at the same time as I'm doing Ask Wendy. How you doing? How you doing? Okay, first of all, please come out and show your boots and the chaps. Like, ridiculous. When the doors open, I saw you. I wore them just for you, Miss Wendy. So now, what's your name? Where are you from? What do you do? Wendy, my name is Malika. How you doing? Hi, Malika. Where are you from? Arizona. And what do you do? I'm in billing and accounting. Okay. Now, look, face your people and let's help solve your problem or something. Okay. Well, oh, oh. don't touch the mic. <laughs> Wendy, here's my situation. Mm -hmm. I got married in 2018, mm -hmm. had a very dear girlfriend of over 30 years invited to my wedding, a part of my bridal party. Here we go, here we go. What is about to happen? She walked out. Why? Because she said she didn't feel welcomed. It was my day, boo-boo. What are you talking about? That's what we were trying to figure out. So How many bridesmaids did you have? Uh, eight. I'm lying, six. <laughs> Should have been five. Okay. <laughs> So what's your question to me? My question is, we've, we're reconciling, or at least trying to, mm -hmm. and she's offered to take me on a trip. My question to you is, should I take the trip or dissolve the relationship? You know what? 2018, this happened. Mm -hmm. She said she didn't feel welcome. Does she not have a family of her own? She does, and she has apologized. Okay. Um, we'll take the trip someplace where you can escape quick. 
<laughs> but I, like, I don't, I don't mind the trip, but you're not gonna go someplace where you need a passport. You understand? Yes, ma'am. You're gonna drive up the coast in a rental car, like Thelma and Louise, okay. get there, stay for 24 hours or 48 <laughs> okay. hours, and talk and kumbaya. Okay. One room, the two of you, I know we're all grown, but you know, sometimes one room is cute for a sleepover, mm -mm. and we're grown. Look, okay. you, you asked my advice. Okay. Good luck. Yeah. Oh, we'll be right back. Happy birthday, this is Trisha, everybody. She's a stay-at-home mom from New York, New York. <laughs> Thank you. All right, look, you're gonna have 30 seconds to race the clock. Now, here's your question. Lady Gaga just released her new album. It's called Stupid Love, and she did it on Friday. <laughs> Name four of her number one singles, go! Oh, um, Just Dance? Yep. Um, Shallow? Yep. Um, help me out. Uh, what? Don't look at that. <laughs> poker face. Poker face. Who is this one? Yeah! 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 All right, Amber is here. She's from my, a makeup artist and a model. Yes. Yes, kind honey. Kind of Marlo Hanson kind of lifestyle. Uh, you know what I mean. <laughs> yes. Oh, men who pay for your lifestyle? No, no. Well, they, they, well, well I don't know what Just you fabulous, mean. Just fabulous, fabulous. Oh, okay. Yeah, fabulous everything. Now look at here, Amber. You got on the burgundy. I see yes. the, the fake boobs. It's, it's all <laughs> fake, no fake. Yes. Okay, let's let's talk about your whole look. When you have the money for it, why not, right? That, or okay. somebody's paying for you for okay. it. I paid for my own. Did you okay. pay for yours? Yes. Okay. We'll be right back. You might not recognize me tomorrow. I'm gonna look 18 because I'm euthanizing. <laughs> But Corey Feldman will be here with real good hot talk. And I've got you with the hot topics. I love you for watching today. And I'll see you next time on Wendy. Bye. <laughs>